Alrighty. The Ramsey Show just ended. And as per usual, we'll be waiting for some people to get over before we start up the content. Let's see. Before that, though, I can type in my stuff. And I really should pre-type this, and that way I just have to paste it in. That would be very, very smart. Oh, let me make sure. Did I remember to? Yes, I did. Turn on the mic. Cool, cool, cool. Schedule a free consultation slash assessment. Oh, oops. Ramsey Coach. Dot com forward slash coach money. Right, we can get rid of that. Whoops. Did the double click instead. Said, uh, email is right there, but I will type it in. Email about scheduling anything financial or anything about my YouTube channel. Yes, sir, it is my new place. Money at. That's what I look like when I'm reading the monitor of pie. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do not have a ceiling fan on, and the air conditioner is not on either. What up, Tina Share? Uh, gmail.com got distracted uh, let's see and uh, if you'd like to donate paypal.me forward slash coach Steve money donations paypal.me forward slash coach Steve money Uh, Ellie, I don't, did they call you a bragger? They were talking about, um, the SoCal gear guy that's saying he just bought a million dollar house. I think that was the only person I heard being called, or I saw that somebody in the chat called being a bragger. So if they, if they directed it at you, I did not, uh, see that. Let's see, how about notes? Notes are good to have, right? Alright, Spring Special Savings Account is about to take a huge drop, paying estimated taxes on Wednesday. Government view, take a bite. Well, that's right, Tina. Tina's not a fan of every personality equally. All right, it's been a while since we've done the whole thing. Let's uh, do it without. Let's do it a cappella. You guys going to sing with me? Sing with me. Ready? If you got sleeping dogs, uh, you may want to turn it down. Let's see if I can see this. I'm because I'm close to the monitor here. I think you can see it with my on my glasses. All right, let's go. 
Like all plans, it starts with step one. A thousand buck emergency fund. In step two, you'll pay off all your debt. Except mortgage, we don't do that yet. So pay off your consumer debt. Every single one of the charges, from smallest to largest. And baby step three is next. A full emergency fund of expenses. Stay gazelle intensive. Let's get to the next uh, verse. Where is it? Oh, step four is when you can take a breath and go less gazelle and invest. Step five is to save for your kids. No student loans at all for college. Six is to pay off your home. Step seven, build your wealth and don't keep it all yourself. And you've lived like nobody else. Now you get to live large. Now you get to give large. His name is Dave Ramsey and this is his plan. And I hope to meet him. I admire the man. I've messed up in my life, but these steps have made it right. That's why I coach and why I host this after show. If you don't like results you're getting now, you should do the baby steps. And if you want to have financial peace, you should do Dave's baby steps. Live from Columbus OH, it's the Ramsey Show after show show brought to you by Tina Share, the Queen of Sheba. And here we talk about the Ramsey Show, the Ramsey Show YouTube chat, and the people in it and all things financial. Whatever else I want to talk about, I'm your host, Coach Steve Money. I'm a certified Ramsey Solutions financial coach. You can schedule a free consultation assessment by emailing your contact info, coachstevemoney at gmail.com. You can also use the URL ramseycoach.com forward slash coachstevemoney, and that link is at the top of the chat, scrolling up. I, don't, I can't do a scroll up thing. I forgot to prep the uh, add me on the Grom, but you can add me on the Grom. Uh, Instagram and Twitter are Coach Steve Money. No spaces. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, paypal.me forward slash Coach Steve Money. That link also up in the chat. And let's get this out of the way. Let's move this to the... Nope, not that now. I want to move that one. Move that to that window. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Thanks for the I.O. Tina Share. Oh, is it her and Wednesday on uh, George? Oh, that's right. We did find out uh, Christy Wright and, and George Camel on uh, on Wednesday this week. Sydney says uh, some people think mentioning is the same as bragging. That's right. Where was I? Oh, I was in the middle of my intro. All right. Uh, today's uh, Ramsey Show hosts were Dave Ramsey, host of the Ramsey Show. Yes, author, I mean, of the Total Money Makeover. Fabulous, fabulous book. And uh, the CW... Christy Wright, and she's the author of Take Back Your Time. 
she shows the way. She's got a live stream on Thursday with Dave. Okay, that's all on that. Uh, they took a call early on, maybe even the first call I think it was, from a woman concerned with the low amount of starter emergency fund. That's a common thing. People are like, oh, $1,000 isn't enough to do that. A lot of them don't even have $1,000 now. So... But anyway, she was explaining her uh, reasoning uh, that involved her babies and car reliability. And Dave said, babies don't break cars. And uh, Dave was not playing today, even more so than normal. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Oh, we need to go to the do -do 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 market report. And as you can see, this just a little bit too far back. I'm going to go glasses again. So now you guys don't know I'm Superman. Um, that would be uh, our mixed market today. Like almost all up. NASDAQ, as you can see, just barely down. 0 0.066. Let's see if it went. Oh, it opened uh, higher today. This is just the one day. And it tried to come back a couple times and was up there and then blah, and then blah, blah, blah. Okay. So uh, that is not positive for the day. That's negative. As you can see, the S&P 500 up 0.23%. Not back up to the high, as you can see. That was on September 2nd. And so, it's coming back though. There's always tomorrow. Dow, I think, still a ways from the high uh, August 16th. Yeah. 800 bucks or so from the high. Check uh, everything up in Europe. Mixed in Asia currencies. Let's check. The euro up on the dollar, but the dollar up on the yen. The pound is up on the dollar. The dollar is uh, down to the Canadian dollar. And the Australian dollar is also up on the US dollar. Crypto all down today. Check the big boys mixed here. As you can see, the NASDAQ was uh, mixed. Alphabet, Google owner, uh, up a little bit over a percent. Tesla up almost a percent. Uh, Facebook, Amazon, down. All right, let's go back to the chat. Still haven't worked that third monitor in. Maddie bags. Little clay. Would you do that hit for a million, Steve? And what I should have asked. Something didn't that didn't if you typed in something before that, Maddie bags. That was related to that, it didn't come through. At least fight did today, just like Dave was. Alrighty. Oh, 
let's see what do we got to talk about today uh this eight month fryer air fryer is just 63 dollars at amazon and shoppers say it'll replace the oven and i just got an air fryer i don't know if mine's eight and one it was 49 dollars old sale over half price from the best buy and i think mine is the same what is this a five quart one i think mine mine might even be six quarts but uh so i'm gonna try that out tonight make some roasted carrots because i love those and so it's been forever since i had a carrot uh let's see this from reuters uh talking about the great reboot uh and that's what they're saying is going on now i don't know that that's happening the way they think it is but from zippers to glass shortages of basic goods hobble u.s economy and yeah there's stuff uh due to the pandy there's stuff that's uh in shortage included video chips and all kinds of other stuff uh, uh if i have older stock and put it with new the colors won't match black is not black is not black all right so i see she does a velcro does a tent factory all right so all right so there's clog supply lines so many manufacturers rushing to build supplies at the same time the container ships and trucks needed to move the goods all for aren't available and have soared in cost when they are. Yep, I mean, that's going to be uh, the way it is, at least for a little while here. And it, it could, be, could be longer. Clay loves the air fryer. Boosted notice, big jump in groceries. Yeah, there's a, uh, didn't I have a thing? Yeah, check that out, Boosted. Look what I got for you. I'm using a blocker. Can I, uh, oh. Oh, that's right, it's the Daily Mail. I can't, because uh, grocery price, this is from the UK. Uh, I don't know if they have Kroger in the UK, but at any rate, uh, maybe they just have, maybe they, they, they do have email in the UK and here, so I guess uh, they could find out stuff from that way, from the internet. But uh, grocery prices ri to rise another 3% before the end of year, Kroger warns. Uh, and that's where I got the carrots for my air fried carrots for tonight. Let's see if I can refresh that and there we go uh with the cost of beef already up 14 percent and pork 12 percent since december yeah okay and that's basically it uh the only important news that we can still see uh, the biden administration said that increased demand and supply chain issues are not the only reason for inflation as he points the finger at meat processors yeah uh um, I've seen an, I saw another article about that where uh, Biden wants to tell the meat processors like, "Hey, come on, guys!" I don't know. I don't know what they. I don't know what they think they're gonna do about that. About the prices, uh, you know, if your prices go up, you have to put those onto the consumer. You. Uh, what do we got here? House Democrats plan 26.5% corporate hike, corporate rate, as part of multi trillion dollar tax hike. And it was, let's see, House Democrats want to raise it to 26.5 as part of the nearly $3 trillion in tax increases to defray the cost of their next big spending package. Uh, and let's see. Ways and Means Committee also planning to call for a new 3% surtax on people making more than $5 million. Uh, do, 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 as well as increasing the top capital gains to 28.8 from 23.8. So that's a 5 
percent increase on there. Looking to see what the capital, because it was lowered, or the, I mean the corporate rate. And I don't see that. Oh, he also wants to restore the top marginal income tax rate to 39.6 from 37%, where it was before Republicans got it as part of their 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Uh, he would also crack down on so-called carried interest, a form of compensation for private equity managers, special reserve tax on higher earners known as net investment income tax. All right, I don't, let's see. Uh, Neil, 26.5% corporate rate is higher than the 25% that Senator Joe Manchin, a key centrist, says he prefers. The current rate is 21%. Uh, all right. And I think it has been higher and it was lowered, but they don't say anything about that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? From CNBC, we also have uh, some House Democrat rule uh, news. Uh, but first, breaking stock futures inch, or inch higher, inch, or inch higher after Dow and the SP snapped five day losing streak. Uh, but House Democrats propo propose new retirement plan rules for the rich, including contribution limits and a repeal of Roth conversions. So that would be bye bye backdoor Roth there. Uh, let's see what they want to do to contrib contribution limits for the regular plans. Um, 3.5 trillion budget plan. Uh, you know, they could propose several changes to their 3.5 trillion budget plan is what they could uh, propose, but they're not going to do that. Uh, among them, the reforms would end backdoor and mega backdoor Roth strategies for the wealthy and add new rules for individuals with retirement savings over $10 million. Legislation would also disallow IRA investments that require owners to be accredited investors. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. I just want to see what it says about the um, contribution limits, if anything. Uh, Roth conversion making. Okay, so no more, uh, no more backdoors. All right, sorry for the dead air. There we go. Contribution limits. Uh, the taxpayers make IRA contribution regardless of account size. However, the legislation would prohibit, 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 is that word, individuals from making more contributions to a Roth IRA or traditional IRA if the total value of their combined IRA and defined contribution plan exceeds $10 million. All right, well, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't. I mean, there are, there are better hills to die on than that one. So I would probably let that one go. Then again, I'm not trying to keep my $10 million. All right. Said, uh, I talked to Churchill Mortgage today. She said local banks are sketch in her area. So besides, that would limit would apply to so I mean if that's the if that's the only limit they're talking about I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on that and of course uh, required uh, minimum uh, distribution for the mega IRAs they probably want you to they want you to get money out of there so you can uh, so it doesn't grow more. For you, so did the back door, but okay. So I thought I thought it might be like limiting the four hundred one k or the um, Roth IRA investing investment limit or contribution limit, but it doesn't look like it.
already shipping options dry up as businesses try to rebuild from pandemic. This uh, related to the other stories uh, that we had there, among other five, five factors driving the consolidation were a surge in Asian manufacturing and demands by cargo owners to keep transport costs under control. Wave of shipping consolidation of the past five years is adding to the supply chain woes caused by COVID-19 outbreaks, further delaying the movement of cargo across the oceans. Handful of big shipping players control the majority of containers via giant vessels, leaving the world with fewer routes, fewer smaller ships, and fewer ports that could keep the flow of goods moving when the pandemic disrupted operations, according to cargo owners and freight forwarders, who secure ship space to move cargo. So that's one of your poor, perfect uh, storm things, is they optimize it so, so they have less going on and taking care of everything, but then when you get a pandy, then you can't take care of everything anymore. All right. Let's see, we talked about the groceries. Well, I guess that's it for today. We ran through some stuff quickly today. Let's see if we had anything else. Uh, any earnings going to be reported soon? Oracle FedEx, Adobe Accenture. Oh, but I heard something else about Accenture recently. Nike and Costco. I don't remember what that was though. Something about them and another company that were examples for something. I can't remember. Um, let's see. The vaccine mandate raises questions for major trade group. Just want to see what major trade group. Oh, like Coke, General Mills, on it, on it, the Honest Company and PepsiCo. What does the Honest Company make? Hey, don't don't listen to that. My oh man, pause. Award-winning baby and beauty products, cleaning supplies, all delivered right to your door. All right. Did not know about those. Taco Bell tests 30-day taco subscription to drive more frequent visits. Now, how does that work? Thank you for being on CNBC so I can see the whole article. And there's key points for a... A free taco a day in Tucson, Arizona. Customers can redeem their Taco Lovers Pass until November 24th. At participating locations, Burger King and Panera Bread have created similar programs in the past for coffee to drive more frequent visits. All right, so they're just... Uh, taco Lovers Pass can order one crunchy taco, soft taco, spicy top taco, or Doritos Locos Taco. For a thirty for a day for thirty days straight on the chain app, chains app, the cost of the pass ranges from five to ten dollars a month, and so you get your money back if you uh, have a taco every day. Don't know how healthy that is for you, but you know. So, and how that works is if you go there every day because you're trying to get your money's worth on the thing then oh hey you might buy a drink or you know something else while you're there too so that's how that's how that works good luck to them and we did that one um i forget what evs are let's see what is that Oh, uh, electric vehicles. My bad. All right, and what is it? Infrastructure bill would favor cheaper U.S.-made EVs.
Price and earnings cap on the tax credits plus made in USA requirements. All right. So yeah. All right. So you get better. Uh, you get better tax credit for oh, and for buying a used electric vehicle as well. How about that? How much is a taco at Taco Bell? AJ asks. Um, they have, they have the uh, certain ones, the spicy potato soft taco is still a dollar, I think. Or they might raise it up to a dollar twenty nine now. Yeah, Tina Share is correct. Tina Share thought about returning the sausages. Uh, sauces. Yeah, I don't know if they make you. They want you to mail them in, and that's I don't think that's everywhere yet. But yeah, for yeah, so you figure AJ as much as ten ten bucks, and so you can get uh, thirty two dollars. You can do the math if you want a more uh, correct <laughs> estimate of your total uh your your net gain there uh but like 32 bucks of stuff for ten dollars so uh tina sherry doesn't have one close enough to make it worth it you should get more taco bells in the land of sheba then tina for 30 days aj might test them sounds like aj is down so you also gotta you gotta you get the drive there every day though the Prince of Sheba prefers chicken quesadilla. Alright. Tina Sheer, my now 17-year-old son, uh, when he was, I can't remember, because it's been a while, when he was like 14 or 15, he we used to get Chipotle all the time, and all of a sudden he was like done with Chipotle forever. He said there wasn't, an incident and I don't know that I believe him on that but like I don't know he found a hair or something in in one of the things or, or had bad food or something but uh, he's saying there's no particular incident and yes I'm throwing him throwing him under the bus All right that's okay he doesn't watch this and uh, <laughs> according to him he'll never he'll never be involved with any of my YouTube stuff so it's okay From the Charlotte Observer, if we happen to have any listeners from the, or watch, viewers from the, all right, never mind then. I don't care why they're closing a little earlier. Um, Blue Apron debuts new heat and eat meals, perfect for your uh, fall routine. And so, how is that? Is that different than the regular one? Do you have to... Now it has a way to handle busy days. Okay, so I guess there's a little bit more prep uh, normally, but like these new ones will, I guess, just be ready to go. That's generally... It seems like it's generally the, the, the blue aprons and stuff of the world seems to be like more of a richy person thing. Or a lazy person thing that uh, doesn't want to go get fast food every day. Which I guess it might be better for you than that. But yeah. Tina Cher's kid loves the spice in anything he eats. Rocket Mortgage, I believe you're correct, AJ. I believe they are part of Quicken Loans. All right, so I totally did not do any streams this weekend. Uh, but as far as upcoming ones, Ramsey Show After Show Show is on every weekday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, right after the Ramsey Show YouTube video ends. And I will usually start a live stream... 
in the morning if the Ramsey Show mod has not posted that day's show by 10 a.m. Eastern Time, as was the case seven times in the past uh, two months or so. And it was two twice last week while there was a substitute mod. All right, and Bella ghosted me this weekend, so we didn't uh, we didn't test to see if one of us could play a video game using a keyboard and a mouse like the old days when that was all you had. Uh, we're both used to using a controller now, so we will see. Uh, as far as tomorrow, I do not know. I've talked to Stephen Glenn a little bit, a little bit, and uh, but uh, unknown if we will do a board gaming with Stephen Glenn tomorrow or not. And I'm hoping to get Bella's boyfriend back because I need that rematch on uh, Madden to do and I will be doing uh, uh, the tech support or the Ramsey coach support uh, streams one of these days here maybe even one tonight we'll see what time is it 6 37 p.m. yeah I might could possibly do one tonight I do not have to get if I might be a little later though because I do not have to get up for Menards in the morning so um, yeah so that could be like uh, maybe like a 10 o'clock even. So I know you guys have uh, lives and stuff and have to sleep maybe. But anyway, uh, if, it, if it pops up for you that I'm live, then I'm doing one of those things most likely unless uh, I hear from one of those people about uh, doing a stream. All right, you guys got anything else? Ellie, sorry, I was ghosted by Bella. Me too, me too. Uh, Clay wants to uh, rub it in there. Uh, yes, apparently the Buckeyes uh, for the past uh, two years, really, the defense has been declining, and last year Justin Fields, the quarterback, uh, Scored a lot of points and so kept it, kept it a little bit on the down low. So uh, probably a long at this point a long shot to make the playoffs. Uh, the other usual suspects uh, will have to do some losing most likely and of course the defense has to get a lot better to even win all their games much less compete in should they even make it to the playoffs so yeah uh, Bella in her defense Bella might have just been working late both nights it's possible it's possible she's uh, she does uh, bartending and uh, furniture sales. Interesting. Uh, not at the same place, obviously. Uh, AJ used to love the steak grilled stuff burrito. I've had that too, and that is pretty good. Crunch wraps are wonderful. Crunch wrap supreme. I like the stuff. Uh, I like pizza, and I like I like most stuff where if it has like meat or like a sauce in there and then you throw a whole bunch of vegetables on it. I do like that. I like that. So yeah, so but uh back all all over the place here. But yeah, Clay, so we had that and then my pro quarterback decided he wanted to have a hip problem when uh he was uh landed on by a defensive player from the Chargers so I can't uh, Clay says the Vols lost too though you were favored to lose I don't think that's favored to lose I don't think I don't think and I do not think that means what you think of me uh, I know what you're saying though uh, AJ says Taco Bell is delicious no matter how many Tex-Mex places are around. You can make some mean Tex-Mex, but I can't make Taco Bell. Yeah, the, the Crunch Wraps are good. The Chalupas are good. Uh, 
Uh, I do like that uh, spicy potato uh, soft taco, which is like one of the only uh, $1.29 items left. I think they have just two or three of those. And so, yeah, there's uh, AJ. Have you looked around for the uh, copycat recipes of all that stuff? Uh, actually, they did not get a touchdown with Fitz. He left, I think, early in the first in the early in the second quarter, and they didn't get a touchdown with him. But they had uh, three drives where they got field goals. Uh, and uh, when the backup came in, they did get a, uh, a touchdown from uh, Heineke. Who was the fourth string last year, and he had to start the uh, playoff game against the world champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he kept it within one score. So he should do okay. Somebody at Menards was telling me, hey man, they better sign Cam Newton. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, I think they'll be all right, especially they're playing uh, their fast turnaround. They are Thursday night. It's the New York Giants at the Washington football team. And uh, their quarterback, uh, Daniel Jones, has not lost in two I think he was hurt one for one of the meetings, but he has won the three other meetings with the Washington football team. But they have their own problems, so... Um, might be able to win that one. Uh, no, Fitzsimmons was not retired. <laughs> Fitzsimmons, the eighth. I mean, uh, Fitzpatrick is his name, not Fitzsimmons. Uh, who's who the heck is Fitzsimmons? Oh, there's a there's a Fitzsimmons uh, comedian. But yeah, Fitzpatrick. Who's either Fitz Magic if he does well, or Fitz Tragic if he does poorly or I guess if he breaks his hip but he's getting he's on short term IR right now and he's getting a second opinion on his uh, hip yeah Heineke that's that's close I think it's the E instead of the second I but I think you I think you're all over it AJ so oh he was retired uh, yeah I think he was yeah Heineke I believe he was and he was. He went to college. He was college quarterback for Old Dominion University. You know, oh, hips tragic. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Heineke went to Old Dominion University in Norfolk, Virginia. And when I last lived there, Old Dominion University didn't even have a football team at all. So that's how long that's been. I think they got it like 10 years after I left that, left uh, Virginia, I believe. So, but yeah, the uh, Chalupa is great. The Steve Googling episodes are really the best ones, I think, aren't they? Let's check to see what uh, we have here. Crispy Chicken Sandwich Taco Box. What is in the, let's say, uh, menu, new, what is in the crispy chicken sandwich taco? Obviously chicken. Oh, it's like fried chicken though. Hmm. Oh, obviously crispy, duh. All right. And... Oh, it just comes with chipotle sauce. It's just the sauce and the chicken and the soft taco thing. So that's not dollar forty nine though. Probably can't beat that. Um, where is probably under specialties are the things that we were talking about. Uh, Crunchwrap Supreme there. It's yummy. Look at all the vegetables. And of course, meat and cheese, or beans and cheese on this one. There's the Supreme right there. Uh, there's 
Soft Taco Supreme. Yeah, the Soft Taco is $1.39. For just that, though. So you are making a little bit on your money if you're paying $10 for a taco card and you taco pass or whatever it's called. And then you also get a steak quesadilla. That sounds yummy. Should not look at food on the internet when you have not eaten yet. Because it makes me want to go get one of each of all these. So, uh, yeah. That's right. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Oh, AJ's cute. AJ says, was football invented yet when you live there? <laughs> nice one, AJ. AJ bringing the heat today, just like Dave Ramsey was. Um, what else? Oh, another stream. I don't know if I'll do it live or not. I probably will, because the great thing about doing it, as a live, doing it live is you don't have to edit. You don't have to edit. So, um, what's it called? Coke, zero sugar, now more delicious. Whoops. Yeah. Even more delicious and now new packaging and it says right on the packaging it says uh, uh, now more delicious so I am I do have that and I have not tasted it yet so I am going to do either a live or recorded but it will be the first time that I have had it and we will see I mean I'm not opposed to switching probably if I love it though and I decided to switch to that probably they'd end up stop making it though <laughs> so uh, taco party packs for 50 cent a taco yep yeah combo burrito like 15 years ago I've been annoyed ever since there's a Dr. Pepper Zero now. Scared to try it. Yeah, I don't don't know. I mean, maybe they didn't. Uh, maybe it's just Diet Dr. Pepper. And they just are calling it. A lot of them, like, uh, have changed uh, to take the diet out of it. I guess diet is a negative connotation, maybe. And so they put uh, zero sugar in it. So... Yeah. Oh, let's check. Uh, see if there's any fun news. <laughs> Dems tax rate higher than communist China. There you go. Let's see. But we talked about that already. Ninety-one. Eastwood throws a punch and rides a horse in his new movie. Ninety-one is up there, dog. Ninety-one is up there. That movie is called uh, Cry Macho. Um, Harrison Ford is not a baby anymore either, and he's filming the new Indiana Jones movie right now. And that bad boy is going to be out next year sometime. Can't remember when. But obviously looking forward to that. Once inmates, Taliban now in charge of Kabul prison. SpaceX to launch private all civilian crew into Earth orbit. It could be your neighbors. All right. Well, if they're in Earth orbit, they're not currently the neighbors. Uh, study. My son will love this. Too much screen time may not be so bad for kids after all. You mean they got wrong that wrong too? Just like the uh, fake sugars and cancer thing back in the 70s or 80s whenever they uh, said that. But since disproven. 
Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, there does not appear to be an increased risk whatsoever of depression or anxiety. Oh, um, increased screen time among adolescents only, only, only results in slightly higher risk of attention disorders, disturbed sleep, or lower grades. Okay, well, do we want to take that chance, parents? I don't know. Moreover, school-aged children who spend lots of time staring at digital screens tend to have more close friends. That is interesting. Uh, maybe because some of the screens they're, they're um, staring at are um, chat platforms and so forth. And so there you would uh, make more friends. And I can't say that I have not made any friends on a chat platform, such as, I don't know, the... Ramsey YouTube chat. There's a bigger influence on kids and screen time. What is it? Boys tend to play more video games or girls gravitate towards browsing social media. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, all the findings regarding screen time are positive, yeah. Study concludes kids who spend lots of time in front of screens often sleep less, have lower grades, and exhibit more behaviors associated with conditions like ADHD. All right. Why aren't we, why aren't we friends, uh, Clay? Ellie needs to do something for dinner. Come up with a weekly segment, something to break it out. Oh, I see. I see. Like, I, yeah, I should probably have a couple of, like when today's news was uh, short. Uh, Roth IRA conversions. Uh, they are going to, they are, they're, I think it's just in committee now, but the Democrats want to um, not have those happen especially the, the backdoor Roth and the uh, mega backdoor Roth, they want to have those not be a thing anymore. So, but like, like you could, uh, con you could convert, I think, uh, they're not going to end them, um, end them uh, completely, but I think it's, if it has to be a backdoor because you make too much money, they may end that one. I'm waiting, to, I'm waiting to see what I said. Did I say something to you, Clay, that was bad? Uh, let's see. You know, where's my tab at? Why can't I see where my tab is? Oh, because I went to it and it doesn't open in a new thing unless you tell it to open in a new tab all right sinus potty train cows to use mulu all right crypto hoax all right i'll click on it I'm not gonna allow ads though. Litecoin dumps, crypto slide after Walmart confirms press release was fake. Oh, okay, so there was a press release that was fake. What did it say? Falsely stated, uh, Walmart announced a par partnership with Litecoin. That's crazy. Yeah, you gotta, everybody, um, double check the sources on stuff because I mean, and even even then, with hacking today, I mean, it could have been on Walmart's website even that said that. Uh, so you just got to be careful what you believe. Unfortunately, everything on the internet is not necessarily true. I don't know you guys knew that. Lana Del Rey deactivates. I guess maybe she's out uh, dumping social media, perhaps. 
Madonna is 63, ladies and gentlemen. That means I'm old too, of course. Ineffective Rogers benched as Packers blown out. Yes, that was uh, that was very surprising to me. And I think they were playing somebody that was, wasn't supposed to be that good as well. Howard Stern roast Rogan for taking horse pills. He did not take horse pills. He took the human version. He was under under doctor's care. Doctor prescribed it for him. That's uh, that's fake news there. Howard ought to know better. Team Z sold to Fox, interesting, for less than $50 million. I guess uh, Team Z was ready to get out of the business. Giuliani denies being drunk during rambling 9-11 speech. Had one scotch. Some people it doesn't take that much, though. NFL betting hits an all-time high. <laughs> well, that was like about it. Check the other side there, although that's just a, a, a news aggregator, the George Report. Some people think it's, uh, it's, uh, conservative but when uh, conservatives do bad stuff uh, they do have those stories on there as well uh, speaking of I guess they I guess they gotta keep uh, him he mu Trump must still be doing stuff or or they just need to keep him in the uh, limelight so they can keep up support i don't know no telling no telling um okay none of this stuff is fun stuff it's all this is all political stuff on msnbc uh ha, ha, ha. the beat let's see John Bo John Bon Jovi uh, story there mixed in with all the political stuff all right well I guess that'll uh, do it what time is it it is 6 59 p.m. Eastern time that's right Clay you've got a friend in me um yeah, so that's it. Like I said, I might might do a late night, uh, uh, what's that called, live stream tonight. Perhaps it will not be the um, Coke Zero Sugar one because the Coke Zero Sugar is at uh, work and I'm at home. So that will be a different time. Uh, but it'll be one where I just either talk about tech stuff computer stuff or if I t just talk about people's Ramsey problems and maybe even uh, second guessing some people's uh, answers that they they put in the uh, reddit the uh, subreddit the, Ram uh, uh, the Ramsey subreddit uh, which of course you know people put in whatever they want to yep All right, you kids have a wonderful night. If you uh, got hungry by the Taco Bell stuff, uh, I hope you uh, get food, and I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to make my uh, roasted carrots. I will let you know how that turns out. Maybe I'll even film film some stuff from that on my... Good night, Spring. Maybe I'll even film some stuff from that on my... Um, 
phone and make a short little video for it. I need to do that anyway. The shorts, uh, the 30 second clips are supposedly the kids love them because they're uh, short. See you, Galay. And everybody makes smart financial decisions every day.